Dude, what are you doing? Are you doing the happy porcupine? She was one of the most outgoing porcupines I've ever worked with. Jude, what are you doing? She wanted to climb up on top of any big branch that we brought her. And I would find her just hanging out on the ropes, swinging around in there. And she always engaged with whatever I gave her. Dude, what are you doing? But as a baby, Jude was very, very hungry and a little bit scared. I was given a call by the game warden in my state. He told me that he had a orphaned porcupine that they saw the mother go up into the tree. The baby sat there for four days before they finally called someone. And the game warden came and picked up the baby porcupine and brought Jude to me. Are we all better now? All porcupines are stubborn. <laughs> and Jude was no exception. But once she figured out that I was there just for formula and I had milk and I had good food, she was very happy and she loved seeing me. So I was out there in the dead of winter in the snow, giving her a bottle, but that's what she needed. And she did great. Jude did not really need any additional care, but she really wanted that companionship, having somebody to make her feel secure. So I would just take my time and be patient. Then you saw her playing and much more of her personality coming out and how she loved attention. She would just be spinning around over and over again and she would stomp her feet. I mean, even an icicle, anything that she could do, she loved to play. So she knew, oh, this is good. And it started associating me with happy, friendly thoughts. But unfortunately, with the state where I was, they had set a new rule that we could only have them for up to 180 days. So I had to release her. Bye, Jude. Safe travels. She was like, all right, I'm out of here, and walked into the woods and then way up into a tree. I'm so glad that I was part of her life. And I hope that she can go back and tell other porcupines, yeah, I met humans, they weren't so scary. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible.